What's invisible to the naked eye and dangerous for your skin? Ultraviolet rays, and also ghosts. We don't really cover ghosts on this show, so let's find out about UV rays. You've probably heard of UV rays. They're wavelengths of light that are just too short for the human eye to see, but they're pretty useful. They can decontaminate surfaces and help us study new or young stars burning in outer space. But you're probably most familiar with UV rays as the thing that gives you sunburn when you visited the pool this summer. Hey, I'm Miriam. I'm just a girl in the physics world here to tell you about my favorite collection of plasma, the sun, and how we can protect ourselves from the UV rays it emits. Although sunscreen sounds simple, what does SPF 30 mean compared to SPF 100? Well, in today's experiment, we're going to find out. We're going to need a marker, tape, UV beads. So when the UV light hits them, they're going to turn a bright yellow, orange, purple or pink. And these plastic clear bags. And of course, your sunscreen of differing SPF number. We're going to separate these UV beads into five different bags. We're going to have two controls, one bag that we're going to coat with the 30, one bag that we're going to coat in the 50, and another bag that we're going to coat with the 100. So I'm just going to take a small handful of the beads and put them into each clear plastic bag. So we're trying to relate the difference between what does SPF do compared to no protection at all. Just so we remember which one is which, we are going to label them. And now we're going to get messy. We have to coat these bags completely. You want coverage enough that you can still see the beads, but you have done a complete coverage. These UV beads are so sensitive to sunlight. So if we don't pack them in a box or a bag, they will immediately change color. So I have a nifty little box and I'm going to put them inside. All right, so let's go find some sunlight. I'm going to whip out the control first and let's see what happens. So we're exposing them to light and oh my gosh, they're turning all the colors and look how bright they are. How cool is that? So. SPF 30 is coming out. And then we're going to have SPF 50. Oh, we can see some changes of colors. And then SPF 100. So I can see a lot of purple, a bit of orange, the yellow not so much. But they look visibly not as bright as the controls. Now, we're going to let them sit in the sun and then come back and check on them. It's been about an hour, and the control is bright and beautiful as ever. And then the SPF 30, 50, and 100 all look a bit more muted in color. If I compare SPF 50, 30, and 100, those beads kind of look the same color to me. So they're doing something, but they're not completely blocking all the rays. If you want to know the real secret, SPF 100 actually protects against 99% of UV rays. SPF 50 protects against 98% of UV rays, and then SPF 30 protects against 97% of UV rays. So I'm sitting in the shade now, and I don't know if you remember from before, but we had another control bag, control bag number two. We're gonna see what happens to it in the shade. There is a misconception that in the shade, you are not exposed to UV rays, or if it's a cloudy day, you're not exposed to enough UV rays to harm you. Immediately, we are seeing that the beads are changing color. So we can see the yellows, the oranges, the pinks and the purples all coming out. So that means I'm still getting exposed to UV light and I still need to wear my sunscreen, even if I'm in the shade or if it's a cloudy day. So go out there, have fun, and remember, always wear your sunscreen. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.